visitors from the Peach State in the white, ready to get things underway. New England in the red with the white and blue hoops take the opening kick. Milan finds Poland to Fife. Sure Fife holds on and dots it down, but did it go forward? It'll come back for New England. They'll, they'll have another bite at the cherry. Okay, thanks. Three jacks making meters the hard way. Four meters away. Advantage again yeah, for New England. It. Penalty count already mounting early. Three jacks across and down. And New England striking first. Of the New England players coming in to add their weight, just battering away. Despite Atlanta's best efforts, that there was the killer blow. A force is the 27 year old, maybe an international. Waka with the extras raises the flags, and it's seven to nothing. Free Jacks. There is a free no. Jack down on the pitch, but not in play, so play time. continues. That is Peter Janssen, the hooker. Waka tripped up by the shoelace. Thompson had his jersey pulled over his head and then it dumps Hands down. a free jack and Hands down, George Selwood already with a yellow card out. So six goes because that's completely disproportionate to what happened. Number five goes for the tip tackle. We go back to the original penalty so tip Thompson tackle. Thompson off for the tip tackle. Tip tackle was the original. We'll see if that penalty. was Connor Cook joining him as well. Yeah, Kent, it was an absolute carnage hit off the ball stuff. I tell you what, a lot of these players, especially the South Africans, they've played against each other at high school. So there's no love lost there. But also all, earlier the season, Free Jacks beat ATL, and they beat him here at this very ground, starting that win streak. So you could see a lot of niggle before this game. They're playing on the edge both sides, and I expect a few more hits to come. Roll away! I can't move, sir! I can't move! ATL understand the importance of finding points here before that halftime break. Again, Minturn. Across and down, who else? But Marku Janssi van Rinsberg, the try scoring machine. Pretty simple stuff, got themselves close to the line. That's what they needed to do. Play more rugby down this part of the field and that's what they can do. Chance to make it a three point affair and De La Vega does just that. A massive try from Rugby ATL. Larson with the Moore. take. Come backwards, that's once. Don't change four. Raddy comes in, giving a push. Now New England gets things going in forward direction. Advantage. Another advantage, and it may be another card for Atlanta as Selwood has reached into the pocket yet again. And who's the man headed to the bin? We will see. Number six. It's going to be Connor Cook. It's going to be a yellow to Slade McDowell, the outside flanker, heads to the bin for New England. So it's a yellow card. Okay. Yeah, he, he, can't, he can't tackle upright. He's got to make an effort to go lower. The number one in two teams in the league in dominant tackles. We'll see if this was by the book. Oh, that looked like head contact first, but wise to go to the TMO because it happened at such pace. And look at look at the ref there. Ouch. It, uh, possibly the left shoulder hit at the same time as the head. Bind! Six in the league in tackles. Set! Is Johnston. Another push. Oh, God. Now to Balakana. Oh, what a bump off from Balakana. Balakana still across midfield goes to Fijian. New England looking for points here. We've got an elbow by you off the ball. We haven't seen what caused it, but we have seen the elbow hit the top of the chest, we think. So it's a yellow card. It's going to be a penalty against you just here. That's, that's what the report is. Yeah, both teams continuing. To just push the boundaries. Here we have uh, that's right. Up so around the head and neck of Balakana. Call that a neck roll. Can't do that. Gotta stay away from the head at all costs in rugby. No hands. 
Fife, Balakana, able to find his man. Here comes New England. Sade Rivi, McDowell, McDowell across and down. Try time, Free Jack Slade McDowell with the five. Well, inside their half, the hands. Fife to Bellicana. And then this, the beautiful 2v1, well executed, Sanarivi. And McDowell's not barely been back on the field. And of course, he scores the Ingo try. Could Ingo that be the killer blow? Okay, well, Vega, and what you would imagine the final play of the match. And able to put it through a big kick from Joaquin de la Vega. A bonus point in the loss for ATL, but it is now 10 in a row, New England. 10 wins in a row, best ever in MLR history. A hard fought battle. The Free Jacks come away victorious at home.